Hi everyone, I've been designing my own system for handling Revit files that are linked into each other and also from personal experience on large projects I'm of the opinion at least that BIM managers should have control over levels and the elevations and that the supply or the production teams must go to the BIM managers to change them. Now, obviously the top of structure over here is way out of line with the basement too, but it just goes to illustrate my point. The black level that you can see here is the architectural level. That's usually the finished floor level. We typically have a top of structure that's structural and then we have the plenum which is mechanical and each one of the disciplines would want to work with different levels now if all of these levels are native to this project which they are the idea would be to link this file back into each discipline and then to copy and monitor the levels from this container of which the BIM manager is then the um, owner and it's not that the architects or any of the other disciplines wouldn't be able to change their levels it's just that there's a, a source a one source of truth for where the levels should be so if there are disputes on the floor about levels that have been moved inadvertently usually then they can refer to the BIM file to this file for guidance so we've got the dimensions over here that help us define the the offsets and I've gone one step further in that I've placed these within this file I initially started off with filters for those of you that don't know how to do that that's the filters over here which one may set up and use in this case it's using that the level type name is such and based on that you can even switch them off if you switch off the visibility so that's a very quick and easy way to do that and that will then hide all of them in here I've just moved from our land to wireless and this BIM 360, I'm working on BIM 360 right now it's incredible um, I think people are going to start using this a lot and it's great because it just works makes levels but you have to be connected to the internet okay so I can switch off now, how am I able to do that in the first place is by creating um, families for the levels. And each family I can then have in its own color. So there you can see architectural, structural. It's quite easy also just to go and edit the type and duplicate and rename and say what that is. And remember also about the elevation base that's quite an interesting point if you don't know about that yet so these are separate families for the levels and that is then saved into this project and i've gone one step further and i've included the grids in their own work sets now that's important because unlike the, well with the filters it behaves like this in another project so the second project that i'm showing you is where this file is brought in as a link and for argument's sake I'm an architect so I only want to see the architectural levels then there's a nice way for me to do that if I go to my visibility graphics overrides in my Revit links I can control the work sets within the link and so I switch off the structural and the mechanical work set.
And that now leaves me with my architectural levels. The two levels that I've got here already, one I can just delete, the other one I can drag out into position. We'll do that later. And we then have to say collaborate, copy and monitor. Sorry, copy and monitor. Select this link and then we say monitor this level to that level. That now starts monitoring. With the rest of them we go copy, that copies and monitors them and we select all of the other levels. Copy, multiple. And then we can select multiple. Okay, so you just go ahead and select all of those levels and when you've done that, then you say finish and exit. So you can do that throughout the entire project. But now they are referenced to the original file. And should one of the original levels move, Revit will warn you upon reopening this project that you need a coordination review, which you can do from there. And that will give you an option as to what you want to do with the changes within that project. But it starts out by duplicating the families, giving them a nice color so you can differentiate between structural, architectural and mechanical, which other discipline you're interested in, creating work sets for them and placing them in the work set so that you can control them through links. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration on how you might go about managing levels on a large project. Is important because there are certain considerations between the disciplines that might end up in a dispute and one wouldn't like to redo work so let's rather control the levels properly. Until next time, enjoy everything!